makes sense. Okay. All right. So we have the three big ones. We have Chat GTP, Copilot, which is a Microsoft product. We have Gemini, which is a, a Google product. Um, I've used Chat GTP to do things like write scripts for Salesforce, for our, our CRM, our uh, business program. Uh, I've used it to write very complex, uh, complex Excel formulas. I get how that all works, but I'm not as familiar with this integration for Copilot and Gemini. Can you speak to that a little bit? Sure. It's and that's a that's a great question that we get a lot of times. Is is it kind of one size fits all, and they just all do the same thing or in different places? And really, there are some fundamental differences in terms of how they work. So we'll start with Jet chat gpt which was really the original one that became public so it's the most known one um and tends to be on sort of the cutting edge of that technology because they developed a lot of that so that's uh chat gpt is owned by a company called open ai um they have built a really kind of platform agnostic product so there are a bunch of apis that it can integrate uh, like you were mentioning salesforce is that you can have it directly integrate that like that for tasks it also has a huge ecosystem of pre-trained models that are publicly available so if you wanted specific information on say car repair on boards that are newer than 20 2020 or even a specific model is you can likely search and find a pre-trained bot that somebody has built what, that, what's a bot yeah uh yeah so good question about a bot so a bot is really just any type of ai that in that doesn't really have like general instructions like these large language models we're talking about here uh chat gpt or copilot is that it also has is it either has specific training on data it. or okay. it is restricted to that data so for in this example you would train it exclusively on call it board service manuals okay. and so it can return very quickly and uh, specific questions about anything that's related to the data that it's been trained on. Got it. Okay. That all makes sense. Um, yep. I get asked this by a lot of our clients. Um, you know, if they're on O365, right, Microsoft product, they understand that Copilot is part of it or can be integrated. Those that are still on Google, they ask me, well, does the Gemini program operate like that? Does it create these efficiencies and these uh, ability to create content within that ecosystem. So Google Sheets, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So we'll jump into to those as well. The first one is is MS Copilot. Um, now MS Copilot is partially based on the ChatGPT engine. Um, there's a good reason for that. Microsoft is the largest shareholder ah. in OpenAI, so they own 49% of AI. So they open AI, so they're partnered together. But its engine works a little differently. So because of the deep integration with Office 365 products, Outlook, Excel, uh, Teams, things like that, um, and the nature of how people use those products, it's more geared towards like task oriented or efficiency things as opposed to general questions. Doesn't mean it can't answer those general questions, but that it's more targeted to, you can think of it as like task oriented questions. Got it. Um, Gemini, on the, on the other hand, which used to be called BARD in its original iteration, they've uh, Google did a bunch of work with it, improved the engine significantly, and now it's the Gemini product. Uh, like a lot of things that Google does or Google was initially known for, is it's very good at searching. So augmenting searching, you in fact see some of its outputs when you see that thing at the top of your search. If you do a search in Chrome now, where it says, hey, this is AI generated information. That's the Gemini engine that's doing that. Um, they subsequently have begun integrating it into things like sheets and docs like you mentioned of uh, similar to what microsoft is doing with 365 but because that's been a little later into the game there that integration isn't quite as holistic right. as what you would see on the 365 platform currently Makes at sense. least and i presume both of these platforms for that integration is pay to play right you have to pay extra for the copilot integration likely you have to have what paid subscriptions to Google. Is that true? That is, that is true. And that's true of all of these products, at least on if you want to get the max amount of what they do. Uh, you do have free versions of ChatGPT that's available, although it's got limitations in terms of what kind of data it has access to. Copilot, similar, you may have seen if you have Windows 11, that it now shows up in your taskbar. Microsoft is offering access to that as a preview, um, but it is limited in terms of what it can do. Gemini conceptually similar. There are some things you can do for free, but if you want, if you want all the features and you want it to really be able to integrate with your data that you have in those providers, 
you either need to have licenses on the 365 side or on the Google Workspace side. 